Hello, this is Carl. I'm going to show you how to record with the Discrete 8. The basic setup will involve a Discrete 8 Premium, a MacBook Pro, two Verge microphones, the included power supply, a Thunderbolt cable, and two microphone cables. Additionally, you'll need microphone stands and a way to monitor. We'll start by plugging in the Discrete 8's power supply with the threaded connector. Next, we'll plug in the Thunderbolt cable. These are the only connections required on the back panel. On the front panel, we'll plug in the microphone cables. Also, we'll plug in our microphones. I'm going to monitor using headphones, so I'll plug those in too. Now we're ready to start the Antelope launcher. For more details on registration and the latest downloads, please refer to Antelope's website. Now we're ready to power on the Discrete 8 and get started. Soon the Discrete 8 will appear in the Antelope launcher. Here you can check if your software is up to date. You can also find it in the audio MIDI setup. This is where you'd set it as your default playback device for use outside recording. Now we're ready for a source for the microphones to record. We'll launch the Discrete 8 control panel from the Antelope launcher. You simply click on the icon to the left. Once the panel is loaded, we're ready to authorize the Verge microphone emulations on the Discrete 8. You start by clicking the question mark in the upper right corner and clicking Administration. Once in the registration window, click Next, then Register Product. If you've already registered online, the Verge mic will show up here. Click Done, and the device will power down. If you do not see the Verge mic available in the registration window, either you have not gone to the Antelope website to register it, or you've used it on another device. After a moment, the Discrete 8 will power back up and will be ready to record. For today's examples, I'm panning a left microphone and a right microphone, 100% left and 100% right. That way we can hear the differences in the microphones. We'll start by enabling 48 volt phantom power and turning up our source in our mix. To access the Verge microphone emulations, click the gear icon. Now switch down to the Verge emulation. To start, we're going to just use the microphone itself with no emulations. We'll also apply this to the second microphone. Today I'm going to be recording my audio in Pro Tools, so I'm going to go in and set up two basic audio tracks. You'll see that I'm going to be recording input 1 and input 2. We'll start off with both microphones without emulations. Now ready to pick our first microphone model. For our right mic, which is closest to the 12th fret, we'll select the Berlin 184. We'll now select the Berlin 184 for the left mic as well. Now we'll switch both mics to the Perth 55. Now we'll switch to the Freiburg 6. You'll notice this brings out a lot more of the nuance of the guitar, including some string rattle and a buzzing string you might notice as well.
worth mentioning I'm actually using the Freiburg 6 on a Verge mic for the voiceover for this. Now we'll switch to the Allberg 4006. Now we'll switch to the Hamburg 40. That concludes our microphone models. Now we'll switch back to just the Verge. Thanks for watching.